Hey folks, Keith193 Lumber coming back at you with another beer. This is Anchor, Anchor Brewing. The recently closed Anchor Brewing, or recently closing Anchor Brewing. I'm not exactly sure if they officially closed yet or not. I don't really play, pay that close of attention, but obviously everyone's heard about Anchor Brewing. Uh, this is their Liberty Ale. Um, I saw it the other day and I was like, I haven't had that one because usually I don't see, I've tried over the last like year or so, I've tried to grab like some anchor beers. I, I was able to grab the, excuse me, the Porter and then I had the Amber Ale. I don't know if I reviewed them, but I did have them. Um, but this is their Liberty Ale, and I have not had this one, yet, so that's why I grabbed it. Uh, it is 5.9% alcohol by volume, and the pale ale that launched a revolution. When we first brewed this beer to celebrate the bicentennial of Paul Revere's ride, we had no idea it would kick off a revolution of its own. Now known as the first American pale ale, the beer that started the IPA movement, it's bright, dry hopped, and timeless. Taste has kept it. Taste has kept it the standard, Jesus Christ, uh, taste has, now known as the first American pale ale, I'm going to start over, and the beer that started the IPA movement, it's bright, dry hopped, and timeless taste has kept it the craft standard to this day. We did it, yay. Uh, tasting notes are citrus, summer fruit, American hops, and I read the tasting notes because this was canned on January 6th of this year. It is July 19th. So it is over six months old. Six and a half months old? Something like that. Yeah. Also union made. So very important. Especially with all the striking and stuff going on. Dude, I don't know what the fuck is going on with my glassware. Like just all of it looks like shit, even though it's clean. It's like, but whatever. What ebbs? Ugh. Yeah, that looks nice. Looks like a nice pale ale. Could be a pale ale. Could be a, a Saison, maybe. Um. This isn't a this isn't a mystery beer or anything of the sort, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But that's half finger of white, white head, and uh, yeah, it's a goldenish clear beer. Yeah, it's definitely clear. Let's see what it smells like. Maybe a tiny bit of oxidation, tiny bit. But there's definitely citrus, but there's like a, it might not be oxidation. It might be a maltiness that's, that's coming off weird or something. It's probably a little bit of oxidation. Yeah, there's a citrus and it, there's a bready kind of thing, but uh, let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, a little bit oxidized. Still, still good though. It sucks that I'm not gonna be able to get this fresher. Maybe it's not oxidized. I got a little bit of it on that first sip, but now I'm not really getting it. 
but it's it's basically the same thing as the as the nose. There's breadiness and uh, and the citrus. Maybe a little bit of I got a I got a quick thing of something that was either berry or melon. It was one of those two. Or maybe a little bit of both. I don't know. This is nice. Um This is a nice bitterness, a little bit drying, but not uh, not crazy. I said the ABV right, five point nine. <clears throat> Oh, this is nice. These days, I definitely prefer this kind of thing to uh, the the hazies stuff now. Um, and I'm not I'm not dissing hazies. I'm just saying that for me, they had a time and a place, and that time and place is no longer. There's almost a, there's a little bit of like a, like I know I said that there was a little, there may be a little instance of oxidation going on in here, but there is a, like a fresh hop. There's a little bit of like a fresh hop character thing come, going through this. This is definitely... Yeah, I get that little, little hint of oxidation at the beginning, and then it goes away. Um, I mean, I'm assuming it it's affecting the flavor of the beer, like throughout. But as far as like the actual tasting of oxidation, it's 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 very uh, it's very quick. If that is even oxidation. It might not even be oxidation. I don't know. It's reminiscent of oxidation. Goose, go away. But yeah, I'm I'm dragging this on longer than it needs to go. Um so yeah. This is nice. It's unfortunate that Anchor Brewing is no longer going to be with us, but. And it sucks that I start finding like more, um, I guess more recent. Because I think the last time I got the. I think I got, I think the last time I got the porter, it was like that was oxidized and it was like two years old or something but i bought it because i found it i was like oh i'm gonna get it and it's a porter maybe it's fine it's not so anyway and uh, maybe maybe they'll uh maybe they'll pull something out and come back to us but who knows um so yeah i hope you're all doing well Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. You can like this video if you like to. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow me on Instagram at 93 Lumber. Spelled out 93 Lumber. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.